You know when you stand like this, that's a salsa fifth step dance move. Did you know that? I do. Oh, I actually, actually know how to, oh. I know how to salsa. Oh. <laughs> this mofo's in. Okay. Like in cumbia. Huh? Like, you know, the little, like... <laughs> It's a okay, salsa step. No, let's, let's get back to okay. the <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am with arguably the best person over at Perdomo, the director of operations, Nelson Cuba. But you're not Cuban. Of course I'm Cuban. What do you mean I'm not Cuban? <laughs> what kind of dumb... Co- yeah, I was born in Cuba, but I've been here for 50 plus years, so yeah, I'm an American. He was in Jacksonville, so he's like recognized. Right, uh, that's true. But, you know, even... Higher than Nick Perdomo, I am like more than anybody. Nick holds no candle to me. Just so everybody knows out there. Okay, go ahead. All right, so how's the show going for you so far? The show's been fantastic. Um, You know, one of the things that's important, especially in this industry, is you have to be able to supply your customers. One of the things we're able to do is we supply our customers. They put an order in today, it's shipping today or tomorrow. So they appreciate that from the smallest to the biggest of customers. We're able to continue to supply them. And that's based on what we're doing in Nicaragua. We have three facilities now where we're making cigars. So we're increasing our inventories in the aging rooms and we're increasing our production daily. My my first time in Nicaragua to the Perdomo factory was 2018. In 2020, they doubled in size of production and now you've Triple? We're, we're basically tripled and we're looking at another location. And, and that's just because of the growth rate we have. So we're, you know, we're just trying to keep up with the demand for our product. And that's because of this guy right here. He knows what's going out the door like two years from now. Like he's got everything down to a dime. You have to. But yeah. Nick's never happy. No. Either I have too much or I have too little. I can never, I'm never in the middle. So I just do the best we can. It's also Nick's best friend. They go back to high school? Yeah, we go all the way back to we were 11 years old, so I, I can talk shit to him. Yeah. <laughs> can I say shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, we don't know. Okay. <laughs> Nick likes to keep it close. He has a close inner circle, so best friend, director of operations, but he also does an amazing job there. Let's talk a little bit about your 30th anniversary is coming up. Can we expect anything soon, maybe? It, we're, I, you know, I saw something on Facebook that Nick said, and... I don't know where he gets these things from because he hasn't seen anything. So he has no idea what's being worked on. We'll tell him when it's done. But (laughs) no, we're we're hoping because of the supply chain and the things that are going on, uh, we were slowed down. We couldn't get it out last year. Uh, We're hoping this year we get everything we need to be able to put that product out. You know, as you know, we're vertically integrated. We do everything except the bands and the things that you need for the boxes to make them look pretty. So if we get that side of it done, I think you'll be able to see something in a few months. So your only bottleneck is the one or two things you don't control and that's it? That's it. That's about it. One of them's like the pins that go in the boxes. That's about it. And you know, and everything with our bands and and those type of things. Great. And I have one more question for you. So we have a possible looming pandemic on, you know, coming towards us is what the experts are saying. So if you're a little tight in the wallet, what would you say the best bang for the buck Perdomo cigar is? Oh, well, no doubt. Our our number one selling cigar is right there, that champagne 10th anniversary. Um, Whether you're a beginning smoker or an experienced smoker, for the beginner, it's got enough of a flavor profile that doesn't, it's not overpowering and it's too strong for him. For an experienced smoker, it's got enough of a flavor profile again that you get enough flavors out of it that you enjoy it. So most experienced smokers like smoking it in the morning with a cup of coffee and then the beginners at dinner time, uh, you know, after dinner time with a nice scotch or whiskey. Very nice. Thank you very much, Nelson Cuba, the man so Cuban. They named you after it. Yes, thank you, Law. <laughs> thank you, Nelson. <laughs>